guys, Courtney Mermaid here and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about my top 10 tips for fabric mermaid tail users. Let's go. All right, so we have at the top of the list buy a pill shaver. These are relatively inexpensive. You can get them at dollar stores, uh, like drug stores. I've even seen them in supermarkets. They are very simple, very helpful little devices. As your mermaid tail ages, you will notice that it gets some pilling, which are those little dots that if you got clothes, which I hope you do, um, you've probably had pilling on your clothes before. So one of these is actually a great way to make old clothes new as well and is really good to revitalize your mermaid tail. Do be careful because this can also put holes in your mermaid tail. So do it on a flat surface and do it slowly and do not press this really hard into the fabric. Key points to remember. All right, this one I am super sensitive about. Nothing breaks my heart more than when I see Ladies, gents, don't rip and tear at your fluke to get your monofin in it. You make all of us tail makers out there just cringe so hard when we see it. It's like, why are you doing this? You are like, you're killing, you are effectively killing your mermaid tail because maybe it seems fine the first couple of times you do it, but you will start to notice that she starts to rip, she starts to stretch, it starts to tear, it's the whole thing. Guys, it's a really good idea to put your monofin in your tail first. I know that there's companies that are like, no, 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 you can put your monofin on first and then pull the thing over your thing. No, <laughs> I really feel very, it's just, your tail's gonna last you a lot longer if you're very gentle about how you do it. Even if you do have to put your monofin on first and then pull it over, don't just pull it out all the way that it goes and stick it over the corner. That just, that's hor that's horrifying. Don't do it, don't, 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 don't do it. Another way to prolong the life of your current and or future uh, mermaid tail is not to use a monofin that has sharp edges. Sharp edges really can very quickly, if you're not clever about how you handle them, can destroy and put holes through uh, your mermaid tail. And I can give you guys an example quick. So this is a mermaid tail that has uh, holes in it from its monofin. It has it mostly on, on one side, but if you take a look, you can see what's happened. These are actual holes. I can stick my finger through these. So that is from the Phineas Aquarius. So while I love the Aquarius and it does definitely have its place and I do have tails that have had it and have been fine, I'm not sure why it's happened to two of my tails. I haven't done anything differently. The mermaid gods are punishing me apparently. I don't know, but but that is something to be aware of with your monofin choice. One way to deal with that problem, and this is another tip, is you can actually glue in some reinforcements. So the sad thing actually happened to Wanda as well. This is Wanda, for those of you who might be new. Um, and Wanda also had an accident. Why am I not in focus? You know, don't focus on the tail back there. Focus on my face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Wanda had an accident and Wanda's monofin poked through in a couple of spots. So what I chose to do was actually reinforce those tips with little triangles of fabric. So that is another thing that you can do. If you do need to use a monofin with sharp edges, that is another option. At least you'll be able to reinforce it, which will hopefully prolong the life of your tail for a little bit. Okay guys, I know that hopping around in your mermaid tail looks fun. I know there's gymnasts now that are flipping around in mermaid tails. I'm over here shaking my head thinking, oh, that's just an accident waiting to happen. But hey, whatever. What do I know? I've only been doing this for 10 plus years. Guys, do not hop around in your mermaid tails. Try not to stand in them. If you have to, that's life, so be it. But do be aware that the more that you stand in your tail, the more you hippity hop around on the pool deck, which you shouldn't do, you are gonna, it's just gonna damage your tail and it's gonna happen quicker. So it will happen eventually because it, let's face it, you know, you got water up your nose, you need to stand for a sec, you, you're kneeling on something, the pool's too shallow, you're at a pool that's rough, you can't help it because it's a gig, you don't really have a choice. 
That's just gonna happen. That's where the pill shaver will come in handy. It'll help get some of that pilling off, but just trying your very best to avoid rough surfaces and avoid standing in your tail will help it last longer. Guys, always make sure you rinse out your tail after every swim. I know you've been swimming for an hour, you're wet, you're cold, you're dehydrated, you're hungry, you're just like, okay, I had a great swim, I'm lazy now, I don't feel like rinsing out my tail. Your tail needs to be rinsed out. So does your bathing suit actually, but so few people do that. But seriously, you're coming out of the pool, the shower's right there. Literally, pop that monofin out, hang that thing in the shower, let the water run through it. Just, you can squeeze it a little bit to help push the water through and you've rinsed out your tail and you're good to go for your next swim. By the time you get home, you're too tired to rinse that thing out anyways. You, you set up your drying rack and away you go. So it's done. Do it as soon as you can. Do not leave your tail in a bag to just sit in your car for hours on end. Please, for the love of Pete, don't do that because that's gross. And boy, the smell, damn pretty. And I speak from experience. That is something I have done. Not with any of my current tails, but some of the earlier tails where I was like, oh, whatever. That's fine, I'll just do it later. No, do it immediately. Be a responsible mermaid and take good care of your mermaid tail. All right, on that note, do not wring out your mermaid tail. Oh my lanta, when I see people do this, eh, oh, do not wring it out, guys. Really do your best. Squeeze it, if you have to wring it a little bit, do not twist it beyond its like ability to recoil, okay? Like seriously, you are gonna stretch that thing out. People are like, oh, what is the my, it doesn't fit. And then I see them wringing out their tails and I'm like, that's why. That's why it no longer fits you nicely because you are ripping on it and pulling on it and stretching on it. When fabric is wet, it's easier to stretch, okay? I'm a tall girl. When I was a kid, my jeans never fit. I'd grow through them so fast. So what we used to do, jeans, sweatpants, t-shirts, arms on sleeves, right into the washer and you'd stretch it and then it would be longer when it would dry for some I don't know what the what scientifically what the deal is with that but seriously do not wring out your tails squeeze them okay squeeze your tail and 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 just please don't stretch it and wring it out and just mm, like be careful when you're taking your monofin out of it as well when it's wet because you it is easier to damage fabric when it's wet and this is also on the note of rinsing out your mermaid tails. Please don't hang your tails to dry. I know the, the urge is there and if you have to, okay, once or twice is fine. Again, when a tail is wet and the tails will hold a lot of water if you haven't been wringing them out, right? You don't wanna wring them out. So you squeeze out as much water as possible, but if you hang it to dry, it will, and it will take time, but it will happen eventually. It will start to stretch and all of a sudden you'll be like, why is my tail up to my boobs? And you'll be like, this is not something is a miss here, what, 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 what's going on? So if you can get a nice flat surface to hang it dry, I use a drying rack, um, you can get them from Ikea, drugstores, wherever, um, it, it, it's just a nice, a nice one. So that way if it is hanging over on either end, it's only a little bit, it's not the full weight of the tail, um, I would like a different drying rack, one that's longer. Another thing you can do is lay out a towel, and you can also use pool noodle noodles inside your tail and then flip the thing. Um, you know, when it's halfway dry, but it's just really important not to just like, because it'll just pull down. The weight of the water and everything as it dries will just pull the tail and stretch the tail. And the last point on that one is please, for the love of all that is good in this mermaid world, do not store your tail when it's wet. Don't do it. Wait until it's 100% dry. This is a hard one for me. My tails have uh, a rolled over waistband, which takes a long time to dry. It's not something that just dries quick overnight, okay? This holds a, a ton of water, okay? A lot of water. So this stays wet. Oh, I forget how soft this tail is. Mm -mm. But it takes time to dry. You cannot be like, hey, it's dry enough. I'm just gonna go store it in my drawer or in a box or in a plastic bag. Oh, no. Once it's sort of halfway dry, then go ahead and hang it up. Let it dry out the rest of the way. That's a great way to store your tails is just draped over a hanger. Pinning them to a wall, I don't recommend. The more holes that you put in your tail, it's just <laughs> hangers. Hangers are a good way to do it, just saying. Um, you're just gonna save yourself some aggravation when you start noticing more and more little holes just appearing in your tails. It's no good. 
But yes, please make sure your tails are 100% dry before you store them for long-term storage, okay? All right, and the last point is never leave your tail out for an extended period of time in direct sunlight. Now, you're like, well, Courtney, I want to wear my tail to the beach or I'm swimming in the ocean or whatever. That's all fine and dandy. That's great. But what I'm saying is fabric, This is these are just like anything else. They're not like 100% like protected from the sun's rays. Anything you put out there is eventually going to get bleached. You know what I mean? Like my grandma's Honda Civic from from forever ago, <laughs> older than I am, I'm sure now, um, right? It got pink on the top. It's a red car and it turned pink because the sun, just weather and the sun and the thing. So don't leave your tails, like don't store them in an area where they're in direct sunlight. Do not just leave them outside for hours and hours on end in direct sunlight. Um, you know, you're at the beach, you're doing whatever. Of course you're going to be in the sunlight. Like that's just kind of a given. Am I focused? Okay, I'm focused. <laughs> that's just kind of a given. But what I'm saying is just don't leave like, so I would never hang them in that window and just leave them there in the sunlight. They're gonna start to fade with time. It'll take some time, but it'll happen eventually. You know, you just like every single day, day in and day out, you're in direct sunlight. You just gotta be careful. Okay guys, that has been my list of top 10 tips for fabric mermaid tail users. I hope you guys found that helpful. If you are a fabric tail user and you have any other tips to add, be sure to do so in the comment section below. I love to hear from you guys. We always learn so much from each other in this beautiful little community. And speaking of communities, if you guys are interested in checking out my Patreon pod, get behind the scenes content, other fun rewards, and even join my new Discord chat where you can hit me up with all your mermaid tail making questions and we can all chat and hang out. Be sure to do so at patreon.com slash Vancouver Mermaid. Links and everything are of course in the description box down below. If you liked this video, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss any of my mermaid adventures because you know, I've got lots more tips like this coming at you. It's gonna happen and it's gonna be good. So if you have any ideas for future videos you'd like me to do also be sure to leave those in the comment section down below thank you guys so so much for watching i look forward to seeing you all in my next video happy swimming bye